Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Now that we've finished the game, we can get the rest of the moons in the game. And... clean up everything, I guess. The captain went to the shop. Well, we're gonna have to go say hello to him then. But first off, let's take this rocket, and actually, what does this toad want to say? This artsy toad. Hey, you can play pi uh, picture match way up in the Cloud Kingdom. Fun. Okay. Let's go. To the Cloud Kingdom, I guess? Kind of? Oh dear, this is gonna be interesting. Picture match! Uh, pitch, picture match. Put your best face forward. If you can master picture match. I'll give you a power moon. Wanna give it a try? Okay, I'll try. Alright, get on up there. Let me explain how picture match works. See this character's face right here? Take a good look, because you're gonna have to put it back together. Capture the facial features with your hat. Uh, then rotate, move, and place them. Oh, and each time you place a facial feature, it will disappear. You'll earn points based on how well you recreated the face. A passing score is 60 points, so try to do better than that. Alright, let's picture match. Oh boy. This is gonna end really badly. There's also some uh, Goomba facial features off the side that we don't want to grab. So basically, we just have to recreate Mario's face using what we've been given on the sides, and hopefully get it as close to correct as possible, which is gonna be interesting. Since we can't see what we're doing, basically. Um, I feel like that's too high, but I guess it could be there-ish. I think I've got that wrong. That's fine. I'll... I, I just need to get enough points to pass. Um, now, eyebrows and eyes. This is going to be interesting because... We have to get the eyes and eyebrows round the right way to actually get them to count as the correct spot. So is this one... I don't know, which way is it? I think it's actually that way, possibly. Hang on. Does it look more like that? Or that? Ah, uh, I think it's that. I'm gonna go with that. There-ish. Okay, let's get the other one and put it in the... Other side, I actually regret my decision right now. So hopefully it's correct. That's all the bits in place, let's talk to Toad. How do we go? All done? Yes I am. I say you did, remember, you need 60 points or more to win. You scored... 88 points, okay. Close enough. Well done, you passed, here's your power moon. Basically, Mario. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but is there another one? A little harder. Get a high score on your winner, Palmer. You want to give it a shot? I'll try. Alright, get on up there. Alright, memorize that face. I actually did get the eyebrows right, but I actually needed them a bit higher. I needed everything a little bit higher, actually. On oh, each time you put a place, it'll disappear. You earn points based on how, many t how you do a thing. 80 points to win. Let's picture match. Also, I believe, if I'm not wrong, yep. <laughs> the entire face just disappears. That's definitely that one. Oh, this is gonna be so interesting. This is gonna look terrible. Alright. Uh, there, you kind of have to try and get it to fit the outline well enough. That's not what I was trying to grab. Um, which button is it to... I guess it doesn't matter which one. There. I'm very nervous about this. That looks about right. Let's grab the nose. If you know Mario's face well enough, you can probably do this without too much hassle. Does that look right? Lower? 
Yeah, I'll go with that. Whatever. Now, eyebrows need to be fairly high up and stuff, so about there, I guess. Oh, this is gonna be interesting to see. Um, I'll go over there. Okay, let's see how we did, because this is gonna look absolutely horrible. 80 points to win. 90 points! I did better, apparently. <laughs> Somehow. You passed. Here's your power moon. A Stella Mario. Well, thanks, game. It's a very kind thing to say about my piece of art. That isn't even my piece of art. But anyway, now that that's done, let's keep moving on. Um, I still want to find the last seed, because I know... Because I know. It has to be around here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. There's this big seed here, but that's not what I need. This is just for putting it on here. It's actually... I have an idea of where the last seed might be, and it's not... It's not up back here. Um... Yeah, it's not up here. Anyway. Let's get started with some of these secret areas, because these secret areas in this kingdom are boss rematches with a bit of extra difficulty. And also Mario 64 references, because of course... So let's fight this thing again. We can skip over its cutscenes a little bit. Also, you can actually get on top of this thing somewhat, if I can do better than that. And I think if you... Oh, I can't see... I think... Yeah, you take damage from being up here, but I don't... Okay, you cannot damage it. I thought you possibly could, but I guess not. It's strange that you can get up there at all. I don't know. I just wanted, wanted to try that out. Maybe you have to do something to its eyes. This is just me trying something at the moment. I can do this boss really easy. But I'm just trying new things for the sake of trying new things. Because otherwise, why would you be able to get up there? It looks like it's supposed to be a platform kind of thing. Anyway. So, it can't do anything to its eyes. No. Well, I guess I could try... What is happening? I could try ground pounding through this. No, I can't. It doesn't- it's not even doing anything there. Of course, that's just a waste of time, so don't- don't even worry about getting on top of those blocks. I guess. Also, ow. I'm gonna have a bit of a better attempt at this boss in a second here. I was just testing things out, and now that I've tested things out and not sure why that they exist like that, let's actually just beat up this boss and make it sad that I ever thought it could tr try to do things differently, I don't know. I did all of these bosses last night, so I should be fairly good at these. So let's just break that. Going around this particular way makes it so that they get to us faster if they start turning. Also, you have to dodge the laser beams because he shoots his laser into the, um... These things that will make more of the rings. So you have to dodge a lot more things. This one's a big one. So those ones are big ones as well. And that's just the way that this rolls. Okay, let's go. Oh, I wonder if it's... No, it's not. I don't know. It looks like the barrier could, like... Oh, I can just get up here. Is that some kind of mistake? I don't know. Anyway, let's just do that. Oh, I'm in it. I guess you could try and get onto it in this phase and try to do damage like that, but also I don't think you can, is the thing. But anyway, that's that all done. Now we just have to do this last phase. Which should be fairly easy. And yeah, that barrier is just back. It's just... yeah. That's so weird that that is like that. But anyway, this boss is fairly easy. Just have to avoid that last laser beam, which doesn't even reach the, to us right now. And there we go.
Anyway, after each boss fight you get a multi moon, which is really good. And it just sets you out of the painting again, so. And you can refight the boss whenever you want if you want to. Um just thinking about what to do next. Uh, I might actually go into Peach's Castle right now. There's some interesting things about Peach's Castle, but I'm going to be ignoring that base for a little bit. Awful news, Mario. Princess Peach has gone missing again. She packed her suitcase, happy as can be, and walked off. We can't find her anywhere. Where is she? We'll have to find out. But for now, let's go in here. And I'm not going to talk to Toadette right now because... I want to do it later, but Toda is basically an achievement system where for every achievement you unlock, you get another power moon. Also, if you look at the ceiling here, it's a Mario 64 reference and we get a power star. Um, so yeah, I, we haven't got all of the, uh, what's it called? Achievements yet because we need to do a lot more to get them all. If you clear out an entire kingdom, you're probably going to have some of them. And usually for repeat, like, types of challenges or power moons, uh, it will give you rewards for doing them all, so, like, uh, all the secret rooms kind of thing, or, um, all purple coins in different worlds, that kind of thing. All of the hint arts. But anyway, these panels are slightly up in some places. Once you hit one, another one pops up somewhere else. If I can figure out where, that'll be good. They're also slightly decolored, I guess, because of the lighting. But it's difficult to see them sometimes all the same. Is that up? No. Just focusing right now. So I can see which one is slightly up. This one. I didn't... I didn't... <laughs> motion controls why. Um, just have to check literally everywhere to make sure I don't miss which one's gone up. And then eventually, after getting all of these enough, I think this is the last one. We get a power star. Also got that hint out there. I took a picture of it. I'm pretty sure. We'll come back to that later. Anyway, let's keep going and see what else we can do. Um, I think I'll go to a different kingdom for now and then come back later. But I'm not going to touch the Odyssey at the moment. There are some moons we can't get to without using the Odyssey, but I'm going to leave those for last, probably. Anyway, let's just go all the way over this way and get these purple coins way over here. Um, and let's... Ah, oh, there's so many things to do. Let's go over this way, because right over here is a painting. So this is the main form of travel we're going to be taking for the rest of the game now, basically. Until we have all the moons in the levels that we can get to. But anyway, secret path to Shivera. And now, if I can, I'd like to go to the other shortcut from this level. Uh, I guess it would be better to actually go the opposite way, I guess. Maybe? Maybe I'll do that. Let me do that. Also, these penguins here just fly off. Because that's how penguins are. Oh, I didn't mean to pause. I pressed the skip button too soon. Let me go, please. Thank you. Gonna work our way backwards, because each kingdom has a... or most of the kingdoms... The kingdoms that have paintings have one painting in and one painting out. Uh, and the one... And one of them has a flag next to it, which is the one that you use to get into that area. I have a bad feeling that going this way is actually gonna take longer in the long run, because I'm not going to have all the paintings unlocked. Uh, and then going, going to each one of the paintings is going to take a little bit longer. Going to the one that takes, that needs the, um, without the flag, 
is gonna be harder than going to the one. I might have already. No, there's no way that I've already connected all the levels. I've messed up. I probably should have gone the other way. I should have kept going. Ah, it's fine. I didn't even get all the things here. I should I? Ah, I'm gonna go back. I feel bad about this, but I. It's just ah. I want to, I have to unlock all the paintings before I can just do whatever I want. So let's, let's do that. I know I've just wasted so much time just doing this, but I'm, but it, I'm committed. I have to unlock these paintings. The kingdoms that you can't access with the paintings, though, is... Uh, the Cap Kingdom. The Cloud Kingdom. The Lost Kingdom. The Ruined Kingdom. And I believe the Moon Kingdom as well. But most of the other kingdoms, I'm pretty sure all the other kingdoms you can get to with the paintings. And we've already seen paintings between most of them anyway, so. This is just going to take a little bit of time. There shouldn't be too many um, paintings that I haven't got yet. But I can think of at least... Two worlds that haven't connected properly yet. Still feel like I can actually make that jump back up there, possibly. It's a bit of a difficult jump, but I'm pretty sure speedrunners have done it, so... I might try it again at some other point in time. I mean, it's only going to take you to... Uh, the Mushroom Kingdom, and that's not an extremely great kind of shortcut to make. Guess if you wanted moons, but you don't really need to. Before the end of the game. Okay, let's just keep going back through. Grab that. Also, if you are doing the least amount of moons possible before moving on, you should probably do... Um, you should probably... Ah, uh, yeah, I won't... Well, that you should go to each kingdom and do the things that we haven't done yet. I'll explain that in a minute. But anyway, this painting here is actually a painting now, which takes us to the Bowser Kingdom, which loops us a fair way. Not completely yet, because we need a few more. We need an out painting for this kingdom. So let's head over to... I think it's the main courtyard. Possibly? I think so. Yes, the main courtyard. Because if we go over this way, just off the edge here. Oh, this painting. No. It wants me to touch the Odyssey. It wants me to touch the Odyssey. So I, I'm going to touch the Odyssey now. I'm sad about the moons that I've collected already. But I'm... Yeah. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do before collecting the rest of the moons in the game. And would recommend doing if... Uh, when, once you've finished the game and with the least possible amount of moons. New products have been added to the shop. We can also reach another kingdom now. Technically. Also, we can't reach the darker side, which we've just unlocked. We're not going there yet, though. I think uh, that makes us real explorers now. Not yet, though. Because we need to go... We're going to go to each of these kingdoms and do the thing that I mentioned. So, the Cap Kingdom. And I'm also going to clean up the... Also, so many things. The loading screen now has the Odyssey go through it. So, back in this Cap Kingdom. Take a look at that. Do you feel that? 
Like a whole bunch of energy concentrated together. Let's check it out. There's also a bunch of moons that we can actually get here as well. That we haven't got yet. And also purple coins because those are going to be important. But first off, let's go and grab one of these uh, Goombas. Pick some Mario, eight, uh, Cat Mario on that wall there. And let's go over to this block because there's a block, one of these blocks in most of the kingdoms up until the end of the game. Up until the Moon Kingdom. And if we hit it with uh, Cappy. So many power moons popped out. That rock must have fallen from the moon. Each level with the moon rock has additional moons to collect. So now there are now just a ton more moons to get. get. So we're going to clean up the worlds so that we can't actually connect with the paintings. And then we're going to make sure the paintings are working so we can get the rest of the moons that way. Hidden in a sunken hat. But this is my favorite point in the game. Just because a whole bunch of extra moons unlock and they're already on the map for you to collect. Which is just a great design. I wanna get that bird. Go, 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 go. Get the bird, get the bird, get the bird, get the bird. It's right there. Touch it with your face, Goomba. There we go. Bird traveling in the fog. I wish that each level allowed you to... Well, what I really wish is you could, if you could just, like, use the Odyssey without put, putting away your moons. Because then you could go collect moons and then deposit them whenever you want. But I guess the shop is there so you can just buy infinite moons and then all of those, but it requires grinding coins, which is not exactly easy. There are some ways to do that, but it's not... It's... it's... yeah, we'll go into that. There are two ways that I think are okay for getting coins, but it will require time. <laughs> Other than just getting coins like this, just normally. We want faster way to get coins. I don't know why I'm going out of my way for coins right now. Because I'd also like to buy the rest of the outfits in the shop as well, which is also going to require more coins, so... The likelihood of me getting, uh, a ton more... ...moons from the shop, just for free, well, not for free, with coins is unlikely. Anyway, let's get the rest of these moon pieces if I can. Remember to shake with, uh, shake Joy-Con with, Joy-Con on controller with the frog to jump higher. Please make the jump. Nope. Oh, there's a thing here. Where is it? There. If I can get in, that would be great. Please. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Platforming is hard. Okay, let me try this again. This time, actually trying to platform properly. Why? You really need to build up momentum with this frog, which I didn't think you really could do. I didn't realize there was momentum. Like, proper momentum. Anyway, that's all the moon pieces. But we're also going to get the, um, the secret moon that's here as well. Which, if I could see where I'm going, would be great for doing that. Because up there is a little... Secret hidey hole, and I fell. Can I make that jump? Yes, I can. Good. I like that. And if we can get up here, there's the secret power moon. Secret of Frog Pond. And I'm not sure which one of these moons are. 
um, given by the block or which ones are just there by default. A lot of these ones are just there by default, so... I was trying to get as many of them as possible before activating the blocks, but I'm gonna have to just get them all now and not activate all the blocks. Is there a thing here? No. There's a lot of things to look at, and it's difficult to keep up with. There's also going to be pipes like this, which are moonblock pipes, which will take you to other secret areas in lots of places. And now look who it is. Oh Mario, glad to see you're still traveling. Tiara and I have decided to take a trip around the world. It'll be nice to see all those, all, all these places we visited before, but on our own terms. Tiara told me she just loves how the ships at home look like hats. Isn't the scenery here just breathtaking? The people here are so gracious, I was given a power moon, but you can take it. So Peach and Tiara are visiting different kingdoms, and if you find them and talk to them, they'll give you a power moon in each. And I don't know if they're in all of them. <laughs> I wonder if it's true that dinosaurs enjoy basking in the sun. It'd be fun to ask, Guan. Oh. Okay. Well, anyway, let's uh, get some more power moons. And also purple coins. Oh boy. This secret area. This secret area is fun because if we just walk off this edge here, we are automatically put into a roll and we have to roll through this entire area. Secret power moon there. Preci precision rolling. Oh, don't fall off the edge, please. Oh, camera, why did you do this to me? I was just adjusting you. There's no, no reason to be rude. Gotta go the safe way and nearly fall off anyway. Gonna grab all of these or not. Cool. And there we go. Okay, what else is there to do? There's a lot of purple coins in places that we've already looked at. You can't get the purple coins or power moons, the regular power moons this level, uh, without coming back later, so that's unfortunate. But anyway. Got a hint art that we'll need to take care of at some point. It's good to get out of the way now. Taking a picture of it, that is. Um, I think we can go in this little hole here for some purple coins. Let's see if I can get this timer. Challenge moon. Oh, grab that, please. I need that. Running out of time. There we go. Got it. That was close, though. But we're fine. Also, the flag here isn't... is different. Anyway. That's fine. I think there's a thing here that I need to get with a frog, but I can't do it at the moment. We can hit this thing here a few times. And then, eventually... Maybe I'm just crazy. Oh, I might have just had to let it stop. Gives us a power moon. Also, I'm really surprised that there's a lot of lights that you can activate with Cappy. But if you light them all, it doesn't do anything. Which is very surprising. Next to Glass's bridge. Oh, I can actually... There's actually blocks here. I didn't realize there were blocks there. That's cool. But anyway, we've also got a hint art to look at. So let me quickly get... Nope, wrong, nope, nope, back. Not the shop. We've also got this hint art here. So let's get that. Now this one's a bit of an interesting one, but we have to align the moon in a way with the hat just there. So, like about there. Or here-ish. Come on. It's probably just right there. Yep, there it is, and we get a power star. Found with Mushroom Kingdom Art. Hello Luigi, goodbye Luigi. We'll talk to you later. Back at the house. Okay. Let's get some more of these moons. 
We're going to be doing this for a while. Probably. Getting all the rest of these moons. In the game, that is. Not just in this level. Anyway, we need to take this frog here. And if I can get up here and then flip. There's another block. Oh my goodness. There we go. Get that moon up there. Now, if I can make it back to land with this frog, that'd be great. Though I doubt it. Oh my goodness. Frog does not want to jump very far. Uh, but I want to get to that one that's in the air above the town. If I can. Just have to take this frog for a little bit of a walk. And then, if I can flip up here... We can jump right into that moon. Ah, uh, there's also still the regular moons that I need to keep an eye out for. There's not that many regular moons that we need to think about, but we will need to think about it. Now, let me get a... a Goomba, real quick. Go over here. Should probably actually check what he says first before doing it. I don't think he's going to say it was the Goombas here. But anyway, this this cap is scared of Goombas. Or Power Goombas. I've never truly understood the terror of Power Goombas. And we can get the Power Moon that he's been blocking out of... Uh, blocking. Can you actually tell me what you're saying? Nope, he's still terrified. Anyway, that's fine. We already did it, so... Um, let me think... Where to go? I need to get another Power Goomba, though. So let's do that, then. So we can keep moving and getting... Power Moons. Um... And Purple Coins as well. Let's go down here to these... Uh... Notes... Thing. There we go. And if you grab one that's on this, the right level, the power Goombas that is, it makes that a lot easier because you can just flap at full speed and not have to worry about being too high or too low. Taking notes in the fog. Oh, there's a rabbit there that I need to get. That's fine. Just gonna grab those purple coins and let's go get this one over here. Danger sign. Okay, what else do I need to do? There's one way over there. There's that one there and that one there. And also the rabbit. Okay, we're getting through these fairly quickly already. But there's definitely still a lot more left to do. Considering I have 35 out of 50 coins. Purple coins. I think there's just a, a moon way out here in the fog somewhere. I could even slow down and see where it is. Oh, I'm too far out still. Oh, there it is. Start landing down there for it. Direct hit. Oh my goodness. Fly to the edge of the fog. The fog. And there's also a little area back here that we can go to. For a secret area. And this secret area is interesting, to say the least. We have the Paragoombas and we have these waves of poison that you don't want to touch because you die. We need to get all of these moon pieces quickly and fly okay there we go that's all the moon pieces so we can grab this moon now but this is a secret area so we need to find another one and if we go down here once the tide goes past 
We can go through this little hole. Oh my goodness, I didn't die. How did I not die? I don't know. But I need to get through this hole quickly because there's more waves. And let's see what's back here. Purple coins and a little thing over here. I don't think I can... Oh, maybe I can. I guess it resets the, the height point whenever, whenever you land on the ground. But anyway, there's another power moon up here. And now we are super high up because we landed on the ground. Enough to make make this Goomba's maximum height really high. It's like the uh, the squids in the sea sea kingdom, seaside kingdom. Um, let's quickly go around the front of this thing, this hat tower, because down here is a little thing, a timer challenge for us. So we need to get back up this hill quickly as possible. So let's. Roll. Shaking makes rolling better. Oh, get that please, get that please, get that please, get that please, thank you. And now I actually probably want to go back inside of the hat tower because there's actually stuff you can get in there, but only after you've gone through it the first time and come back later. Which is really strange. Especially because all you need is to be able to capture one of the frogs. Anyway, let's just do this. Because if we go back over this way and go up here, there are purple coins here now, which they weren't before. Then there was just gold uh, coin rings. So it's really strange. I don't know if there's anything else. I saw that pixel cat peach up there that I don't need. Is there anything else up here that I don't? Oh, there are more purple coins as well. See? This is just so rude. You can't get these on the first p pass through here, so you have to actually come through later. And it looks like that's everything here. Don't think there's going to be anything in this chest other than the life apart. So that's good. And even the, the secret areas you can't even access until now-ish. Let's hop into this secret area back here. Oh, and it's one of these levels. I love these moon... Now that we know what these blocks are, it's amazing because it looks so good. Yeah, yeah these moon blocks that are differently colored and I love these particular levels, secret areas. It's so cool. I love it so much. We have to make sure that we can jump from platform to platform without dying. Oh wow, that was close. I didn't even realize it was close. But anyway, let's keep on moving. And I need to pop out there and then quickly get back in because otherwise I'm going to die. Oh, that's all purple coins. I'm going to grab those while I'm there. And I believe somewhere around here, a little bit further forward, is, if we change the camera, a power moon in there. <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna get crushed or just not go in. Okay. I nearly fell off, but I didn't, so that's what matters. I'll get up there, please. Thank you. And we're out of here. There we go, and just pop out when you want to get out to the moon. Push block peril. Let's get out of here. Very nice. We've also got this, but we'll do that in a probably next time actually. So let's head up here quickly. Because I believe there's something up here now that we can do. Oh hey, it's Captain Toad. How you doing, man? I climbed all the way up here because I wanted to see those big moon up moon. That big moon up close. I'm still not very close, but I found a power moon along the way, so here. Yeah. While we're on the topic of moon, the moon is actually visible from every single kingdom in the game. Which is cool because the power moons and it's also where the, the story ends. So that's a really cool thing. But anyway. That is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.